now you know guys what are options and what are arguments for commands. And of course you could combine options and arguments. And more than that you could use multiple options and multiple arguments just with single command. Now it's finally time to explain you about arguments for options. It is also possible. Let me show you that. Let me type date command with option dash dash help. And scroll up to the list of available options. And here you see options that you could use along with date command. And let's have a look for example at this option dash d or its long version is dash dash date. But now after this option we see equal sign and string. And for example here in this option string is not in square brackets. But on this line this equal sign fmt is in square brackets. And that means that this argument in dash dash date option is mandatory. And here this argument equal sign fmt for this option ISO 8601 is optional. Let me try to use dash d option without a supplied argument for this option. Just type date dash d. And I see error option requires an argument. And that's what I have just told you. This option, if it is supplied, must be supplied along with argument. And here is an example of usage of this option. Let me scroll a bit down. And here is this usage. Date dash dash date or dash d, short version of this option, equal sign. And then comes string that contains actually milliseconds that will be converted to specific date. Let's try this and let's simply copy this example and let's paste it in command line prompt like this. And now I see following result. And in this result, this argument for date option, it is actually number in milliseconds, was converted to specific date. If I change argument, let's do that and let's use for example here 4 at the beginning instead of 2 and press enter, I see another date. It is some date in 2101 year. In previous case, we got date in 2038. And that's how different arguments for options may impact result of the command. Let's now try to use short version of date option and it is simply dash d. Let's try to do it like so and press enter now. And I see error in valid date. And that means that if you want to use short version with argument, you need to use space instead of equal sign here. Remove equal sign and add space like so. Let's press enter and result is the same as we have seen here after usage of dash dash date long version of this short option. That's how we are able to use arguments with options. And of course not all options in commands have arguments. And some may have optional arguments and some may have mandatory arguments. And here we have seen an example of option that requires mandatory argument. We are not able to use dash dash date option without supplied argument. And in summary, argument for option is supplied after equal sign for long version options or after space if you use short versions of options. And those quotes are actually optional and uh, I could use uh, command without them. Let me remove those quotes like so, press enter and result will be the same. But please note that uh, if argument has uh, spaces somewhere or some other special characters, it is better to use quotes in order to clearly tell where is argument. Alright, that's all about arguments for options and now you know how to use options, arguments and arguments for options. Next let me talk about processes in Linux and I'll explain you how you're able to get list of all running processes, how you're able to start process, how to stop process and so on. I'll see you guys in the next lecture. Bye bye.